Good afternoon. Despite all the threats in the Middle East, including the abhorrent attack in the United Arab Emirates yesterday by the Houthis, an Iranian proxy, the same Palestinians' lies are spread and hypocrisy reigns supreme. While these debates focus on the Palestinians' baseless claims, they continuously neglect the relentless acts of Palestinian terror against innocent Israelis. While the Palestinians are quick to point the finger at Israel, they fail to condemn the hundreds of Palestinian terror attacks perpetrated against Israelis in the last month alone. In fact, not only do they not condemn these attacks, they condone them. While Israelis endure Palestinian terror every single day, we hear no outcry from Palestinian leadership, but worse, we hear no outcry from the international community. When rocks such as this one are thrown at your car while your children are inside, is this not an attack of terror? Just ask the family of four-year-old Adele Beaton, who was killed by a rock just like this. Where is the world's condemnation of attacks like this? Why is this not discussed? Pure hypocrisy. But the hypocrisy continues. The Palestinian false narrative is constantly accepted by the international community. No questions asked. Sheikh Jarrah is a perfect example. The facts are clear. A family, a Palestinian family, stole public land that was earmarked for a school for children with special needs. Nevertheless, the Palestinians twist reality and use this municipal issue to promote their insightful propaganda. And rather than check the facts, the word and the Security Council immediately blames Israel. But the Palestinians and their libels are far from the only obstacle to regional stability. Iran constantly proves that wherever it extends its tentacles of terror, instability and violence ensure, ensue. Yemen, Lebanon, Syria, and the list goes on. The international community has reached a crossroads. The talks in Vienna are reaching a critical stage and immediate action must be taken. The world cannot allow Iran to continue with their nuclear advancement. If this is the effect that Iran has today on the region before nuclear capabilities, just try to imagine what the Middle East will look like if they do. But let me be clear, a nuclear Iran is not a regional problem. It is a global problem. And this Council's New Year's resolution should be to stop singling out the only vibrant democracy in the Middle East and to focus on stopping the region's greatest threats. Thank you very much.